You see the tail of the tape. Vito is only 18 years of age, but James Martin is only 23. Big height advantage for Vito Milnicki Jr. Six foot to five foot seven. James Martin six and two, no knockouts, but has not been knocked out either. Could be an interesting fight. Get to see the level of progression from an 18 year old rising star. Let's go to the ring and Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome from the Shrine Auditorium Expo Hall here in Los Angeles. Premier Boxing Champions presents a big night of action coming your way. It's Fox PBC Fight Night brought to you by TGB Promotions. And we extend a special welcome to the brave men and women serving around the world and joining us tonight on AFN, the American Forces Network. This bout in the ring is presented in association with King's Promotions. Our judges scoring from ringside, Max DeLuca, Dr. Lou Moret, and Alejandro Rochin. All right, fans, here we go. Welterweights in the ring. We're scheduled eight rounds of boxing. Introducing to you first on my left, he is fighting out of the red corner, wearing black trunks with gold trim, fighting out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. He weighed in at 152 pounds with a record of six wins and two losses. Introducing James, no games, Martin. And his opponent across the ring, fighting out of the blue corner in this eight round attraction, wearing white trunks, multicolor trim, hailing from and representing his home of Roseland, New Jersey. He weighed in at 151 and one quarter pounds. He is undefeated in his campaign to the ring with a record of eight wins, no losses, five wins coming by way of knockout. Here is the undefeated young protege of boxing known as White Magic, introducing Vito Milnicki. And a referee in charge, now to give instructions, Sharon Sands. Okay, guys. Front and center, front and center. All right, this is the belt line here. Yeah, I want to keep the punches up, protect yourself at all times, obey my commands at all times. Touch gloves and come out at the bell. Closed captioning is available for tonight's telecast, and if you'd like to hear the broadcast in Spanish, you can click over to the simulcast on the Fox Deportes app. You know, Joe Goosen, it's, uh, matchmaking is an art form, right? So Vito Milnicki Jr., 8-0, eight, no, 18 years old. But here's James Martin, 23 years old, a guy who knows how to box. What do you think of this matchup? No, you're exactly right. If you watch films on, on Martin, you, you see he's a defensive specialist. He doesn't have any knockouts. So the, the battle for Milinecki is to crack that defensive uh, combination. If he can do that and stop... Uh, Martin, then he's he's really on a roll here, and uh, he's people are going to look at him even more highly than they do do now. Right, Lennox, you want to test the kid, the young man, right? You don't want him to, you don't want to put him in too deep, but you do want him to be challenged, and possibly he gets a challenge tonight. Yo, know, yeah, absolutely. And there's different types of challenges, you know, uh, when you go through fights. You know, this challenge is obviously to crack the defense, but also, you know, to look good. And uh, you know, when it comes to Martin, he's tough. He looks tough and he looks strong, and his defense is intact. <laughs> Yeah, I James mean. Martin is the son of former light heavyweight contender Jerry Martin. Uh, Jerry Martin fought uh, the best light heavyweights of the era, Eddie Mustafa Muhammad, uh, also Matthew Saad Muhammad, Dwight Muhammad Kawi. He has a win. He lost to those uh, champions, but he has a win over James Scott. And if fans out there remember James Scott, James Scott fought in Rahway State Prison in the 1980s on network TV. Jerry Martin was the man who beat James Scott first in Rahway. 100 degrees inside that prison, Joe. Oh, I remember. That night. No, they had a couple of them that were broadcast on TV. So, um, yeah, you know, it's so long ago. I, was that the one they had on? Uh, was it network TV or? Yeah, it was. Yeah, no, it was yeah. On, I was. I watched the tape. It was Marv Albert and Kenny Norton in the ring in shirt sleeves, 100 degrees. But that's, it was interesting. But that's it's not a different the, time. <laughs> That's not the only one they had on TV, though. I know that. Oh, no, yeah, they yeah. do. James uh, Scott was yeah. a, a network sensation, right. no question, mm -hmm. for those old enough to remember. But Jerry Martin, again, beat James Scott, then went up against some, <laughs> we're talking Hall of Famers now, and Matthew Saad Muhammad, right. Eddie Mustafa <laughs> Muhammad, and that's over the course of uh, really two years challenging for the championship of the world at 175. And didn't Scott You're a good beat, sharp jab. Didn't Scott beat Eddie Mustafa Muhammad as well, though? I think he did. I think he did. 
little trivia, but anyway, here we go. Back to the fight here. <laughs> yeah, well, you nice know. to trip down memory lane in the 1980s. Yeah. What do you think so far? Again, it's a different puzzle that he's faced with here in this uh, opening two minutes. Yeah, he's uh, he needs to move a little bit more, like circle, uh, Mark, and uh, do a little bit more punches. And I'm talking about nice right hand there by Martin. Yeah, came in the side as uh, Milnicki was slaying on the right, and he got caught. Martin with a good jab as well, flashes that out. You see the punches landed fairly even so far. Nice uppercut by Milnicki, got caught with a hook. Nice exchanges between these two. Yeah, Martin dropped a little short right hand uh, when he got close to Milnicki there, because uh, Vito's got his left hand down low, even and close right there, and he had to be careful of that. Um, but uh, right now, it's only the first round. It's an eight-round fight. And, uh, this thing's going to develop a little bit more. and They'll figure each other out, and uh, I think we'll see some sparks flying. Yeah, nice opening round here. Final seconds winding down, but James Martin uh, able to fight and box in a poised way in front of Milnicki, who has been able to kind of overpower most of his opponents. Let's go back to Heidi Andrell. Heidi? You know, as I mentioned earlier in the open, we had uh, several photos sent to us by Vito Cena, and this is one of them that I just showed you. This was eight-year-old Vito Milnicki. This was his first national title. There he is, eight years old with Tank Davis. His dad telling me they were actually very close, won many national titles together. There he is, age 12. That was actually <laughs> taken at Danny Jacobs, Peter Cullen, back in 2015 with Champ. And then there he is, graduating from high school just last year. Great shot. Pretty great, yeah. Yeah. Last year, uh, just, just to point out, right? <laughs> West Essex High School, class of 2020, 147 amateur wins, a four-time national champion in the Golden Gloves, uh, won two amateur world championships as well. And now he gets a test, and it is interesting to see him be able to get in there. And I'm not saying he's been in there with guys who don't have a shot, but his last fight, Noe Lopez, was putting up a good fight until Vito was able to put him down with a right hand and then stop him later. But Martin looks like a different level of boxing, and this could be a, a very good test for Milnicki. You're right. Round number two underway. It is a di different hey. level in a sense because uh, Milnicki is like hey. a little bit quicker than hey. Martin with his punches, and Martin's kind of making noise before he throws hey. his punches, so he's, he's telling Milnicki he's going to throw a punch. Uh, but hey. both of them are boxing well right now. Hey. Yeah, if I'm in the corner, I'm kind of urging, Mil if I'm in Milanecki's corner, let's say, I'm kind of urging him, look, you're the bigger guy, you're the stronger guy. Martin doesn't have any knockouts. Go and impress him. Go, go and impress him. I mean, yeah, you put your hands up and walk him back. We've already seen he felt him out in the first round. He felt that, you know, whether he had a little power or not, you know, go ahead and start taking it to him right now. Because the last thing you want to do, right? The, la the last thing, sorry, Brad. The last thing you want to do is have a distance fight with when, you, when you're on a knockout string right now, like he is. Right. Go ahead, Bryce. Sorry. Now I was going to ask you, Joe, like when when you thought, but you're saying now would be about. You've already felt it out for the first round. Yeah. You're saying now would be the time. I would. I look. I, I first off, I I do ask my fighters when they come back. I go, can this guy punch? And if they go no, I go, then why are you sitting there being safe about this whole thing? Yeah. Put your hands up and go in there and take care of biz. You know? Another thing too, he's not getting hit. I don't think he's not getting hit with any shots, so he can take chances. So this is the time for him to take chances. But you see, the guy with no knockouts is backing up Vito right now, which, you know, that may change in the next round. He may catch Martin with a good punch, but he's getting backed up by a guy with no knockouts. Yeah. Martin, though, is, is uh, you know, he's got a good presence about him. He's defensively responsible, very strong with that left shoulder, and able to get in with some jabs. So I, he's established his ground very nicely in the early going. Well, like I said, he this is the this is the real challenge for Milanecki is cracking the defensive code of, of, of Martin because he really is a sick guy and he's got a great pedig pedigree, pedigree that goes back a long way. Yeah, and I, I feel he should be using the jab a little bit more, moving, pressing actually forward with his jab. You're talking about Milanecki, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I know what he's so doing. Right now, he, he's looking to counter punch right now and, and catch him with something and hurt him and then finish him off. But that may never come with a slick guy like Martin. I agree, I agree. I would just point out that punch has landed right now, uh, according to CompuBox, in favor of James Martin. So that's of note. Milnicki is rarely behind in, in any fight. Misses with the right hand and good body work by Martin digging in. Good hook by Milnicki. Milnicki has real power, we know that. Yes, he does. Ooh. 
left and right by Martin and a good hook. Yeah, he got caught with that. Party. Martin came to rumble, baby. Well, Nick is bleeding from the nose right now. That may affect his breathing down the line. James Martin with a very good round. He is clearly inspired and ready to brawl on this night. There we go. This is right at the end of the bell. Martin slips the right hand and comes back. Boom. Nice short left hook and cracks. Vito pretty good. And uh, Vito, you know, he, he, he showed a reaction to it. That's a good two rounds for James Martin establish himself in this fight. You can hear him yelling uh, as he's punching, which is, it's rare. Um, take a look at the total punches landed and thrown, but Martin outlanding Vito Manicki 31 to 17. Uh, I don't think Vito Manicki has lost a scored round in his career. He probably lost that last one. And to tell you the Marcos truth, Viegas is scoring this I'm fight sorry. for us unofficial. I'm sorry, guys, but let me go up to get Mar Marcos. Uh, who would you give that to, the first two rounds? The first two rounds so far, Brian, uh, I've given it to uh, James Martin. I just feel overall he's landing the better punches, uh, the damaging punches. Vito hasn't landed anything of real like consequence that's real damaging uh, so far in the fight as Martin lands another hook there, so I have him two up so far. Marcos, thank you. Look, I, I think Marcos does an outstanding job scoring these fights for us. And maybe that first round could have gone either way. Again, I'm not scoring it either, but he gave both rounds so far to James Martin. And this is an eight-round fight, Joe. So, yeah, you, you can put these in the bank. Well, exactly. And look, you, you don't want to fall behind any fighter in a short fight like this. That's just eight rounds. And you got to remember, Milanecki's at a higher weight. Normally, he's at 47, and he's at uh, 52 and a half in this one. And just those few extra pounds can slow you down a little bit, you know? Yeah, absolutely. Especially when you're not used to it. Halfway through round three, Martin um, coming off of his last fight, Zander Zayas, who is a highly touted prospect, and he lost the decision. But while he was slightly outclassed in that fight, he was never beaten down, not knocked out. That's right. So yeah, he, is, he is learning on the job. He only had about you know 35 amateur fights. But he, again, he comes in clearly inspired on this night, poised, sharp, and putting up a very good performance. Yeah, yeah I think his team... Multiple uh, hooks got caught with a shot. Yeah, wow. I, I think uh, Martin's team is, uh, they prepared him quite well for this fight, and this is a fight they came out to win, I can guarantee it. Joe, uh, you know, I feel that you know, Nicky needs to keep that left hand up a little bit more because That's right. when he throws his jab, he brings it right back to his, his uh, stomach, and he should really bring it back to his chin. Agreed, uh, you know, I mean that was the first punch he got hit with was because of that low left hand in that first round with that little uh, short right hand, so you're right. And again, being backed up and now, you know, uh, Martin goes southpaw here. It's a little confusing, uh, you know, let's see if that gets him anywhere offensively though. You know, when it comes to both guys, when it, when it shows the defense, I think uh, Martin has better defense right now. But Nicky is kind of a little bit sloppy with his uh, defense and needs to keep his hands a little bit closer to his chin. Final seconds here, you can hear how loud the corner is there as James Martin is giving Vito Milnicki the first dire test of his professional career. Round three, Milnicki bleeding from the nose as we go to the bell. Deep breath, there you go. Good, you're looking great, bro. Everything's looking good. Just a little stuff, just a little stuff, just a little stuff. Just You want to spit out? And that is his brother. That's Jerry Martin, James's brother in the corner. Again, his father is Jerry Martin as well. He was, again, a former light heavyweight contender. But James Martin uh, may have won all three rounds so far in this fight. By the way, prior to this bout, Vito Milnicki has never been outlanded in a single round. And he's been outlanded in every round. Joe Goose, and I ask you, because you, you trained Vito for one fight. This seems to be the first time that he's up against somebody that that could actually beat him. He's always seemed to be the better guy in the fight. Your thoughts on what you're seeing so far? Again, when you don't, you know, it's, a, it's kind of a rule of thumb. When you go against somebody that's not a big puncher, they got to have something going for him, and it's usually they're really good defensively. And that's what Vito's facing right now. So you got to break those guys down. You don't want to box with those guys. You have to Really put pressure on them and make them fight you so you can open them up to land some good punches. You don't want to play cat and mouse with them. And that's why he might be a little bit behind at this point. I tell you, James Martin there with a very nice jab. It comes right off his shoulder quickly. He was able to catch Vito as he's coming in. And Milnicki looks like he wants to go to his money shot now. He wants to land a good hard right hand to change the dynamic of this fight. And he's, he's thrown it a couple times, so you can tell that he really wants to land it. But he's got to open it up with a jab first. 
and some body punches. He's got to give him, he's got to give Martin some different looks instead of those same looks that he's doing, which he's really just throwing the same punches. He needs to go to the body level. That's a good point, Lennox. You're absolutely right, because a guy like Martin's not just going to get caught with a right hand. You can see the blood flowing from the nose of Vito Milnicki. And a good multiple jabs, tripling up on the jab is James Martin. Oh, no, look, Milnicki's in trouble. I mean, he could lose this fight. You can see it slipping away already. He's not able to have his way with this guy. And Martin is boxing, you know, very steadily. It's going to take a big shot to change this thing. Yeah, and the appearance of the blood, too, that never looks good. You know, you don't want to show that to the judges that you're bleeding every round. Because it doesn't look good and you don't like it, so they should try to stop that cut. I'm sure they are, or they cut the, the bleeding from the nose. And, uh, you know, take care of that, because that's not a good looking, and it hampers your breathing when you got all that blood yeah. coming out and dripping into your mouth. Yeah, Joe, Martin, it, you know, if I see my uh, opponent bleeding, that leads me on. That really leads sure. me on, because I want to I wanna make him bleed more. So it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a good look for Martin when he sees that. And, and again, they did a great job in the corner of Jerry Martin uh, giving him instructions. So right now, they're trying to encourage him, waving him forward to put pressure. He just ran into a little left uppercut, Martin did. But to put pressure on Milanecki and keep making things happen because they think he can win this fight. And Martin is able to move forward and touch Milnicki. And now that he's opened up the blood, he's hurt him a bit, and he's outlanded him consistently, um, that's really all you would think he'd need to do to win rounds. Again, this is no longer A-side, B-side. This is a fight between two good young pros. Absolutely. Now, here's the thing. Milanecki does, he can't hurt you with one punch. So, Martin... Um, He's got to get through these rounds without getting stunned or hurt very badly, but Milanecki can hurt you, I guarantee it, with one punch. He hasn't landed that one punch yet, though. We'll step aside again. This is a very interesting development. 18-year-old Vito Milnicki's had his way, lands a good sharp uppercut, but James Martin able to eat it and able to survive, and it would appear James Martin is leading in this fight. Listen, turn it up more. Now I need 30 guys against the rope, and you push forward. Off of the jab, off of the jab, hard, hard guard. When you get to a rip, let's go. It's Muhammad Abdul Salam in the corner. And uh, Joe Lennox, uh, they're going to have to come up with something different. Vito's going to have to do something different uh, to change the equation and try to land one of his power shots. What do you think he should be doing? Well, I, I, no, I was just going to say from the beginning, I said you had your feeling out uh, round in the first round. You should have put the pressure on, make something happen. But now he he let Martin kind of establish what he likes to do, and now he's uh, he, he's got he's got to climb back up that hill and try to get something done right now. But I, I got to tell you, Milanecki has just got to get in there, start brawling a little bit, start putting pressure on him, throwing combinations, not just looking for one counter punch at a time. It's probably not going to work against a guy like this, and Martin will probably end up going the distance and maybe be winning I don't know yeah no, I just don't see Vito outboxing him in any minute Joe I mean have we seen a minute where Vito's just outboxed him he's popped him a few times but yeah. I haven't seen him outbox him well you know he's he's trying to outbox him but you know uh, Martin's throwing a lot of punches he's, he's coming he's not like sitting back and waiting for Vito to hit him he's coming and hitting Vito so um, Martin needs to just do the same thing he's been doing Vito needs to pick up pick up the pace a little bit and uh, throw a lot, a lot more jabs and some body punches. That was a good right hand by Milanecki there. He landed that good left the uppercut the counter. last round. But, you know, that, those are far and few counter. between, right, Brian? Yeah, no, Joe, I'm just saying, uh, Martin came right after that good right hand, a good good sharp left hand from Martin came back and countered him. So yeah. to Lennox's point, uh, Martin is in there firing. Whether he's, you know, he hasn't knocked anybody out in his career, but he's not feather dusting out there. You know, he's popping him. He's throwing good, sharp, short punches out there. We're halfway through round five. Marcos Viegas could give us an idea of what the judges could be thinking. Marcus, how do you have it? So far, Brian, I have uh, Vito winning that last round, uh, 39 to 37. Uh, he's doing a very good job this round. I have him up. Uh, he's landing the punches that judges like to see, you know, the effective damaging punches. So, you know, he's building his, uh, his way out of that little hole that uh, he had the last few rounds. 
All right, if you notice, Marcos has that uh, the yellow uh, highlight there in round three. I mean, she could swing it either way. It's a close round, and a judge reasonably could swing it either way. So quite possibly this is an even fight. Um, quite possibly you could have more. No, uh, maybe you could have Milnicki up as well, but it doesn't seem to be going that route. Milnicki's tripling up on the jab again. Yeah, Milnicki is doing well right now. He's, this is what this is what, how he should have started the fight. Right. Uh, hands up, nice and high, and getting that jab moving, moving, moving forward, and throwing some combinations. So this round, he's do, I think this is his best round. Yeah, and it's been around. Well, able to block some of those body shots, uh, but again, Milnicki now at least able. We saw him, Joe, put at least put Martin on the ropes. Yeah, he did. Milnicki ran into a lead right hand there as he was punched in the body. They had a good exchange, each of them there landing, but you're right. He put Martin on the ropes and he hit him with a good right hand to the body, and I think that actually hurt Martin a little bit. So uh, another good round here for, or at least I think, Milnicki's best round so far. Final seconds of round number five. Again, the biggest test of his professional life for an unbeaten 18-year-old prospect. But that, that is an 18-year-old kid who's 8-0, national amateur champion, sky's the limit, a blue chip prospect, and he's going up against you, know, a tough guy from Philadelphia, James Martin, 23 years old, he's 6-2. And, and there's Vito Sr. watching this, and it just seems like James Martin has taken the fight to Vito, winning many of these rounds, and has had the better of it. So Vito Milnicki Jr., uh, I'm not saying he's in trouble, but he is certainly in danger of losing this bout on the cards. Round number six underway. Vito's rhythm in this round and now in the fight is uh, getting a lot better. You know, it's like he's warmed up. The first four rounds he wasn't warmed up, but now he's warmed up and throwing some good punches. Interesting to see the punches landed again. It's indicative of the work rate at the very least. And Vito's gotten the edge and only one rounded by that, by one punch. So you're talking fairly even as Milnicki lands a, a hook to the body. No body work by Milnicki. And again, maybe this is the change of equation, Joe Goosen. Well, that's what he needs to do. I, I think really just to cement this win, He's going to, if he wants to win, he's going to have to win this round, the next round, and the eighth round, just to make doubly sure. If I'm in the corner, I want all three rounds to be won. Now he's landing some good body shots, and he's putting his hands up now, and he's pressing. Sometimes you just got to get rough with a boxer that wants to play chess with you. You got to, you know, you got to knock the chessboard over and just start, you know, really working a guy over and putting pressure on him and making them fight you in close instead of from a distance where they want to. Yeah, but you got to believe that you got better punches than him as well, that you've got a better hook, that you got a better jab, you got a better right hand, and you're out there to prove it. Absolutely. But again, now... And just a few... And, and I was just saying, a few seconds ago, we saw one of those hard hooks to the body that seemed to slow Martin down. James Martin seems a little slower in this round because he's, he's been crisp and sharp up until this point. Yeah, Milonecki landed three of those body shots in a row with that left hand to the liver, so you're right. The last one Milonecki threw, Martin countered back with a right hand. So, you know, Martin got hip to it after two of them, and then on the third one, he countered them really nice. But, you know, Milonecki... Uh, uh, really, you know, took the play from him by landing three in a row. He's, he's doing well this round, Milanucki. He is, and, uh, and a nice right hand by Martin as well in there, too. And as you've said before, the key word is exchanges. They've had some good exchanges in this fight. Ooh, that was a sweet right hand Vito threw. Just missed Martin because he, he kind of rolled with it with his head. So, oh, that's a good right hand. So that's what I mean. Milanecki's got starch on those punches when he throws them. If he lands one solid, it, it could turn this fight completely around. Martin's work rate has gone down a little bit as well. as they, With the exchanges, you hear the punctuation from Martin exclaiming as he punches. We're going to stay right here between rounds, so don't go anywhere, because I, uh, this is this is part of the, the drama going into the corner in what could be a fairly even fight with what is a lot of time left. There are several minutes left in this fight. We'll go to the corners and see if they clean up Vito Milnicki first. My God, you're still not listening. You're still not listening. I don't know what the problem is today. You're not listening to me. I need you to keep the high guard off his little pity pass because that's all he's trying to do is pity pass you. Throw the double jab, right hand over the top, put the right hand on the shoulder like he wants to. Let's go back through this fight. Again, it's been fascinating, and you hear in Milnicki's corner that he's just not listening, and that's not what this kid is about. But James Martin has been active.
active. Sharp with the jab, moving his head. That's a good hook as well. There's been good, sharp action. And Martin Lennox, you made the point. It's not like he's just dancing and moving away. He's standing in and throwing short, crisp shots. Yeah, absolutely. This is where Vito came in really strong at the end of the round, trying some good body punches. But he also got clipped with that left hook right on the temple as he went downstairs with that look, look, look. That's from dropping that right hand to make that move. Yes. But what was interesting, Brian, I thought was the the commentary from the corner. They're, they're not happy that it, they, I, I, it sounds like he's not responding to their instructions for whatever particular reason. Um, and uh, they, there's a little bit sense of urgency in that corner right now because they're probably feeling, as we're discussing here, that it's a close fight. Yeah. No question. They should. I mean, Muhammad Abdul Salam saying you're still not listening. And Joe, you trained him for a fight. You know he's a good student. Yeah. Mark is letting it fly right now. Well, Martin threw it. is looking to press the action. He's backing him up. I'm going to tell you, right before this set, Martin threw a double hook, but the right uppercut that followed landed, and it's the punch that backed Melanicki into his corner. Vito Milnicki has made a name for himself as being a, a, a prized student, obviously, going through the amateurs as an amateur star. Uh, and Joe, you know, his, you've told me his work ethic is, is sky high. But there's a beautiful combination. Let me tell Martin, you, Martin, Martin, three shots to the head. Martin is putting on some work right now. He's, he's throwing a lot of good combinations, and he's throwing some hard shots. And Milnicki cannot afford to rest right now. He can't afford to rest or even to lose this round, so he's got to pick it up. Lennox, you're right. Hard hooks and right hands to the head from James Martin. This is not some guy just out there to box. He is looking to win this fight and maybe take Milnicki down. And I think Milne, I think Martin's corner also saw that he may have slipped a little in the couple previous rounds and then spurred him on to get back into this fight and do that exact thing right there. Another right hard hook from Martin. Sharp hook and that drives Milnicki back. No question. Blood now flowing from Vito Milnicki's nose. See, another Martin thing came out. You're right, Joe. The work rate went down in that last round. Sorry, Lennox, but that work rate did go down, and Martin picked it right back up. Go ahead, Lennox. Yeah, you know, I was going to say, to the judges, when the judges see uh, Melnicki bleeding like that, that's not going to be uh, good for his, his score because they're going to look at it as he's losing the fight, that he's getting hit. And when you look at Martin's face, you, you know, you don't, don't see don't, no blood or no wear on it. And, and I will tell you, he's got Mike Rodriguez as a cut man in the corner, who's one of the best in the, in the world right now but sometimes and Vito's nose bled in my gym as well so he's got a problem with that sometimes no matter what type of medicine you got it's hard to stop those bloody noses yeah. Milnicki has been discouraged in this round there's no question Martin has laid the wood to him in this round hard shots to the head connecting flush so he hasn't put him down hasn't staggered him Vito very good chin but you can tell he's just taking a little of the starch out of the 18 year old kid Both corners knowing that so much is on the line right now. Absolutely. I mean, if Martin were to win this fight, it's a huge upset number locked one. Up. And, it locked up. and it propels him into another category. Of course, if Milanecki wins it, you know, he's got to have to go back to the drawing board. Here we go. Here's that Here's that double hook, and there's that right uppercut. That's the one that sent Milanecki back into the corner. And you can tell that stunned him, and he's lucky he didn't get hit with that right hand right afterwards. There's another right hand. Boom, right up the middle. He's threading the needle. Martin is going right up the middle with combinations. And then the last hook right there. Boy, I'll tell you, those were some nice uh, punches Martin was throwing. Well, there is James Martin, who has fought a beautiful fight here tonight. He came in sharp, ready to go from the get-go. In Vito Milnicki's corner, his corner is puzzled, saying that their star student has uh, not been listening, has not kept his high guard. And in that seventh round, James Martin in the black trunks outlanded Vito Milnicki 23-5. to So just at the moment you thought, all right, Milnicki will take charge here, Martin simply did not let that happen. Let's go to Marcos Viegas. Marcos, how do you have it scored? So far, Brian scored at this point. I have it 67 to 66 for Martin. You know, Milnicki needs to have urgency in this round. He needs this round uh, for at least on my cards uh, to get a draw. So, you know, really, uh, I want to see that from him and, and landing, you know, big, clear shots because, he, you know, there's a risk that he might not get it here. 
So on the scorecards, we could still have a draw here, even though it seems, again, if you're watching as a fan, I'm thinking, Lennox, you're thinking, well, Martin's winning this fight, right? Or, yeah. Do you feel otherwise? I, I think he has the edge. He has the edge on this fight because he's been, you know, he's one of the only opponents that Mernicki's had that's been throwing punches back and that's actually got his nose to be that actually hit Mernicki. So uh, it's going to be a close fight, but uh, Martin's definitely in the cards right now. Joe, is it on the line in this round, or do you think I, it can be no catch him? Even, think? even if it isn't on the line on the scorecards, in the corners, it's on the line. I can guarantee you right now. Both corners think yeah. they need this round. I mean, it, to think otherwise would, would, would be uh, fooling yourself right now. If I were in either corner, I'm really, really pushing my guy to win this round. And I, right so far, the first minute of this round, nobody's really taken charge yet. I think towards the second half of this uh, round, somebody's got to take charge and win this fight because it may come down to this round. Well, so James Martin has showed a good engine in this fight so far. He's kept it going. He really hit a lull only once uh, in one of those rounds, and he came back with, uh, I thought, a marvelous round seven to take it from him. You see the punches landed there in the left-hand corner of the screen. Wide margin in favor of James Martin. And he stays on his toes, d dancing and bouncing in front of Milnicki, but never far enough away where he can't touch him with the jab. Well, you, you got to ask yourself, who did what they wanted to do between the two guys? Who really did yeah. what they wanted to do? Yeah. Uh, we know the answer there. Yeah, we know the answer in that sense, but, uh, well, you know. that should be what the judges are looking at. I agree, Joe. Vito, I agree. Vito should be looking for that big right hand. I, he, you know, when... When it comes to the last round, you got to throw your, your weapons. And he hasn't thrown too many left, rights, or hooks in this round. And maybe it's a situation that he doesn't have enough energy, but he's got to have energy for these fights because it could depend on this last round. So you got to always make. Yeah, first time. He I was going to say, yeah, you have to. Lennox, first time. Go ahead. Yeah, I was going to say, you have to always remember, uh, make sure that you're in great shape. Yeah, final 30 seconds and final 10 seconds now. Ooh. And now they go to work. In the final seconds, Bill Nicky thrown it, but he probably needed a knockout in that round, and he did not get it. And a tremendous performance, a scream of exultation from 23-year-old James Martin. Well, fellas, he thinks he won this fight. Look at this. That's a guy who just fought his heart out, trained in, had a game plan, executed it, and then was consistent through the rounds. Will he get the decision against the unbeaten prospect? Let's go to Jim. Ladies and gentlemen, after eight rounds of action, we go to the scorecards with a majority decision. Here are the score totals. Judge of ringside, Max DeLuca scores about 76 to 76, even a draw. Overruled by judges, Dr. Lou Moret scores about 77 to 75. And Alejandro Rochin seeing the action at 79 to 73 in favor of the winner, James No Games Martin. Watching this fight, you get the sense that the right man got the call there. We love watching Vito Milnicki Jr. Unbeaten kid, great amateur, but James Martin, Joe Goose, and Lennox Lewis, I think he deserved the win, and he got a close win. It was close, but I think he deserved this win. Yeah, there's no, uh, he definitely won the fight, and uh, great fight, but, uh, you know, not not good for Monicki, and, uh, you know, we have to go back to the drawing board, and that's his dad with him. Lennox, your thoughts on when you lose your first pro fight? Because, again, they're not expecting this tonight. Yeah, I mean, it's a situation when you lose your first fight, you go back to the drawing board and say, well, what did I do wrong? And you correct it. You correct it and you come back strong. So I, I have no doubt that uh, Vito will come back strong. He will correct uh, the mistakes that he made and, and, and be back. Now look, long way to go. He's 18 years old, but James Martin came in, and again, we say it week after week. Sometimes the B-side comes in, and they don't realize they're the B-side. And look at the punches thrown and landed. James Martin out throwing Vito Milnicki 612 to 358, and landing, out landing him, and power punches out landing 98 to 65. So he, it wasn't just Joe Goosen, James Martin throwing the jab and moving and boxing and being slick. Your thoughts on what happened? Well, look, I think the numbers, you know, speak for themselves. Uh, they, he outlanded 
gutted him and he out threw him throughout this whole fight. The numbers speak for themselves there. And look, uh, you know, Martin stuck to his game plan. He, if you had to ask who did what they wanted to do tonight, it was Martin got to do what he wanted to do. And that's why he got the win tonight, on, you know, unfortunately for Milanecki. But uh, congratulations uh, to Martin. The, it was a great win for him tonight. Yeah. No, no doubt. And look, you wonder how it's going to go on the cards. Marcos Villegas had it very close, even though it looked like Martin was winning. But he got the call on the judges' cards, and that's the way it's supposed to shake out. It's supposed to get a fair shake in the ring. James Martin got it. He made it happen. And this was the best night of his professional life.